In this video, we'll look at how you can connect multiple network switches to an NVR in a CCTV camera installation. Before we do the connections, let's look at the scenarios that require the need to use multiple network switches in the installation of your CCTV cameras. Let's take, for instance, you have cameras on a site whereby they have been placed and they have succeeded in being placed in clusters like this. For example, I have a cluster of three cameras at a site. At the site, I have another cluster of five and another cluster of five somewhere. If all these cameras are to be connected to one network video recorder, that is one NVR like this, you would have found that one may use a single network switch connected to the NVR, whereby all the cameras would have been linked to a single network switch, which would have gone into the NVR. But there is a simpler and a better way of doing this kind of setup. That is to have at each cluster, you would place a network switch at each cluster. So as you can see, you can have a network switch placed by the group of three. The group of five here will also have a network switch placed at their side and you also have another network switch placed close to the other group of five so in this instance what you do is that you have to connect your cameras to the closest network switch around so for example this group of three cameras will be connected to the closest network switch and this group also this is their network switch of which all of them will go into the network switch and the last group two, you have a network switch close to them. So that in this manner, you wouldn't have to run long cables from each camera to the NVR. So with these, you would have to then run cables from each of the network switches. For example, the first group will have a cable connection from the network switch coming to the NVR. And then you also have the second group, the network switch coming to the NVR. The third group also so each network switch will then have to go to the nvr but the question now remains that how can the connection between the network switches and the nvr be done because as you can see the nvr has just one lan port through which we can have the connections from the various network switches so let's look at how you can do the connection between the switches and the nvr this is the point where you will have to introduce a network router into your installation. At the back of the network router are LAN ports through which we will have to be making the connections. When you take each network switch, these are the normal PoE ports or the normal ports on which the cameras would have been connected. And the best point to connect the cable connection that will travel from the network switch to the router will be through the uplink ports of the network switch because the uplink ports have been optimized with higher bandwidth and faster data transmission speed so in connecting the network switch and the router you plug a network cable from the uplink port of the first switch and then you can just put into the router the second network switch connection will also go in the same manner where we'll plug from the uplink port of the switch and plug into the router. So in the case where you would have been using three network switches, you will have to make sure you connect from the uplink port of each switch into your router. But remember the cameras would have come on the normal PoE ports of the network switches so this is the arrangement or the connection between the network switches and the router so the last point is to have a connection from the network video recorder or the mvr into the router so to plug from the LAN port of the nvr and also take into the router so this is what we have so far you can replicate the same type of connection to a third network switch. So every camera that is connected to each switch would have been taken through the uplink port 
of the switch and then transferred onto the router. When it's made available to the router, because the MVR is also connected to the router, every camera feed from each of the two switches or the number of switches you have, each camera connected to the switch would have been made available on the router. And because the NVR is also connected to the same router, it will be able to receive all the cameras on the NVR and you have a very good network. There is the other option where you could do without the router. So in such an instance, what you do is that you would have connected the uplink port of each switch into the other where you plug one into the other like this and then the first network switch is what you would have connected into the nvr this way so it means that with this kind of approach the switches or the cameras connected to this particular switch will be transferred into the switch and the traffic on this switch will be added to this switch and then taken into the NVR. So this kind of approach may suffer situations like signal timed out on the cameras. So the best approach in terms of linking the switches together or the switches and the NVR is the use of the router where every switch will drop its network traffic onto the router and then the NVR will also go and pick the camera outputs on the router with that kind of approach you have an efficient and a very fluid network for your cctv cameras thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification so you can always be notified anytime we come up with new videos like this thank you for watching see you in the next video Bye bye